Welcome to Jebby TV. Story, story, story again. A former theatre commander of Operation Lafayette Adoli, Major General Ibrahim Atahiru, has been promoted to the position of Chief of Army Staff by President Muhammad Buhari, even though he was removed in 2017 by the Nigeria Army for failing to stop the activities of Boko Haram. The BBC had reported in 2017 how Major Atahiru was given 40 days to capture Boko Haram leader Abubakar Shikau dead or alive by the then Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Tuko Boratai, which he later failed to do and was removed by Boratai from heading the theatre operation without any posting. But after he was removed, none of the officers who took up his office was able to capture Shikau to date, although his tenure as theatre commander was characterized by several failures and an increase in Boko Haram attacks. Atayiru took over this theatre command of the Operation Lafayette Dole in May 2017 from Major Irabo, who is now promoted to Chief of Defense in his tenure. Suicide bombings and terrorist attacks on civilians and military formation spiked up drastically. Barely a month after Tairu took over the theater command in June, Boko Haram insurgents attacked the capital of Bono State, Meiduguri. Then in July, just two months after it took over, a group of geologists from the University of Meiduguri were ambushed in Meiduguri in Megumeri area of Bono State by the members of the site which led to the death of about 12 military escorts that were escorting the groups to their points of assignment. The ambush also led to the death of some staff of National Petroleum Corporation on the team. Also, during his tenure as the commander of the theater operation, four female suicide bombers were used by the Boko Haram to attack Munagari a suburb in Meduguri, killing about 14 people and leaving many with varying degrees of injuries. Is it right to promote a man who was removed as a commander in a theater operation because of his failure in combating insecurity to a rank of chief of army staff? <laughs> oh my god, yes, Nigerians, Nigerians want a service chief to be changed they want service chiefs to be changed so because nigeria said they should change the service chiefs. apart from changing them they had overstayed their tenure and the you know they stayed more than the the their retirement time so for the fact that that nigerians were saying calling for them to be changed it doesn't mean it's just to go and carry anybody because from this from their antecedents from what they have done it, they, they are no successes that we have recorded or they've recorded during all the, the assignment being given to them. So, because now they will not say, hey, after all, uh, they, uh, they say change services, change services. Now they have changed services. Uh -huh, why are you complaining again? Is it by that? And that the same thing we are saying that even anybody, anybody who wants to be president, anywhere the person is coming from, it does not matter. In as much as the person has what it takes. For the fact that now that even the Igbos are saying, oh, they want the presidency to be shifted to their side. It doesn't mean they will just go and pick anybody because they, we just have to take the best. Like I've always said, even if we are going to go the line of a regional, is it regional or rotational to be rotating it? But let people bring, if it is your turn, bring the best. Not just because to, just to fulfill all righteousness. To me, as it, as it is now, maybe it's just to fulfill all righteousness, but I would want a situation whereby they would disappoint, you know, people would be, dis I'd be, I don't know how to put it, they will, they will, they will disappoint a lot of people. By you know, because of this, they are sitting there. You might think, ah, uh, maybe they are not going to be working well. But to the surprise of everybody, that I wish they would do better. I wish they would do better. But if really, what really led, or what brought about, they are not be not performing very well, and they are still coming back again. Hmm, I, I don't think so, unless maybe they have done their own work, so that it will not be business as usual. Because this man has said it. The uh, Buratai has already said it that whether service chiefs are changed or not, it's not going to change anything as far as uh, this uh, security is concerned. So now bringing this kind of person again because he was it was sacked or he was removed because he couldn't meet up the task being given to him. So is it now that he will not do better? <clears throat> well, 
Now God hand with thee. Oh. Now God hand with thee. That's it. Now God hand with thee. Mm, Nigeria, my country. We don't start with complaint. After Buratai has gone on retirement, we cannot pray God to change the character of our leaders. How, time, how many times did you call your elders in your prayers? Okay. Pre program prayers. Well, as he now improved as to head the army, we are only deceiving ourselves. Well, good luck to Atahiru. Yes, we can only wish him good luck and pray that he, they will do better. The political will do the right thing from the top. From the top. Well, uh, this writer is doing as if he's not a Nigerian. Let me tell you, in case you forgot, in Nigeria, the person coming is always worse than the person going. E.g., good luck, Jonathan and Buhari, Jega and uh, Yakubu. Uh -huh. What else? is it? Those two cases that say wants to use to judge. And apart from that, the, the Almighty of all is the the previous government is always better than the present government, which uh, is not really a good thing. It's not a, a, a good omen at all. It's, it's a very bad omen. Like we are saying now, I, we pray that uh, uh, things will not be worse than what we are saying now. <laughs> well, let me tell you that all the all these things they are doing is rubbish. Where they where they are trying where they are trying all possible means to exclude Igbo man, they will end up in rubbish. Okay, that is what the son is saying. In as much you are not going to be taking consideration of Igbos, that means everything will be rubbish. So you don't know that in the present administration, the chief of army staff must be a person sympathetic to Buhari, really, from fire, from fire to fire. Which way, Nigeria? Who remove him? Have you seen Shikau? Now, stop embarrassing the young army chief. Encourage him to do his job on terrorism. Different from normal conversation war biafra war afghanistan still fighting today really oh now them sabi oh all i need is walkable nigeria because we have all we have all what it takes to move this country forward nepotism will never let nigeria move forward well change is necessary and pmb has responded to it however in other climb such a person should have been investigated before this uplifting. Besides, let's give him a chance, act or mar him his reposition and integrity. A chance to act. Okay, so we are to expect more failure from them. We Nigerians cannot be satisfied if we were there. When God uh, chooses a David, we would have told God that David cannot kill Goliath. Nigeria, my country. <laughs> let's see as it goes. Mm. I don't know what to say, but all I can say is that let's see how it goes. But we should we should have grown more than you know just trying to be manage things, managing things. At least when you hear some people's uh, resume, you should be like, wow, wow, wow. Not that okay. Let us manage it. <laughs> Meaning that okay, well, that things are not going the way they ought to go.